My dear brothers and sisters, Catholics, and especially the young people, I am Archbishop Simon Paul from the Archdiocese of Kuching, Sarawak, Malaysia. Tomorrow, we will celebrate Palm Sunday. This year's Palm Sunday will be very different. The young people are so used to gathering in church, families, and together we bring up, we wear our palms to welcome Jesus. But this year, when I celebrate Palm Sunday, it will be in an empty church. But having said that, we know that we are the living church. The church's building will be empty, but all of you who are watching in via live streaming, you are with us. So for this Holy Week, I invite all of you follow the live streaming from Palm Sunday when we welcome Jesus, our Lord, our King, Hosanna, into our midst. We walk with Him, we journey with Him, join Him at the Last Supper on Holy Thursday. Food washing, institution of the Eucharist, we join Him in the garden in the agony. We stand by faithfully at the foot of the cross with Him, faithful to the very end. On this vigil, we were at the tomb, so those who are preparing for baptism will feel an emptiness. But rest assured, we will arrange for baptism sometime this year. And on this Sunday, we will rise with Jesus. He will be with among us, alive, walking with us, giving us hope and life. And for the young people, I invite you to do three things. First, look for a palm and put it outside the door of your house, window, so people know we are Christians and we are remembering Palm Sunday. We are celebrating as one community, though we cannot be in church, but we are one. We are the living stones that build up this church. Two, help your parents, invite your grandparents at home, help them to look for the web page, set up the television, set up the computer and invite all families to tune in and follow live streaming. So young people, young tech, internet savvy, technology savvy, use the time for this. And thirdly, let's celebrate Holy Week and we pray for the whole nation, Malaysia. We pray for the whole world in the face of COVID-19 pandemic. Let it be a week of prayer. Let this Holy Week be spent as a time of reflection and prayer and deepening our relationship with one another and above all with God. And may God bless all our family as we celebrate Holy Week together. And may God's blessing come upon you, your family and loved ones, and remain, remain with you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And I wish you a very blessed and Holy Week ahead. God bless you all. Thank you.